let's see. Look at that, that's much better, man, isn't it? Oh, the quality. The quality on it. See there, there's where your bit goes through for your shoes to stop on. And there's where your cable goes through. I thought it was part of the hub, but let's see. Oh, doesn't it fit? Doesn't it fit? So there you go. Anybody with a Land Rover, that's how it should look. <laughs> very, very rare you see a Land Rover in Scotland with that still attached. So you can see it's actually two pieces of metal and uh, it's all riveted together. So we need to make that on there. We need to get that fitted on. So not going to be easy, but we'll manage. We'll sort it. We'll sort it. Do better than that, that's for sure. So oh, the world of pain. Crap, crap, crap. So that's this seems to be moving in there, so hopefully we can get it out of there. I think that's holding it. That. Is that clip holding that there? Let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see actually. That would be really good if it was, eh? Be really good. Pause. It's uh, slightly different, or. In the, in the clip is part of the game, maybe. So, anyway, back to these bolts. So, I've got three of the bolts at the back in plate. Uh, that one's slack, right? So, I managed to slacken that one. This one, I had to chisel it, but I managed to get it. That one is turning, I'm sure. So, I might need to buff through because I need to keep the cable. So, I might have to buff through here with the belt sander. I'm just be very careful. So, there we go. So, ninja skill is what you need for getting all these crusty bolts out. So, just take your time, you know, and you'll get them. You know, they're sealed in there, so it's just about getting the tool to grip it. So, Land Rover, see, I'm, uh, I've already buffed my, my first load of welds down. You can just see there's a wee bit there, actually, that I'm a wee bit high on still. So, I've buffed all this down. Right, and I will weld up the wee bits that's missed, you see it like I've did here. So I've already buffed this down and then re-welded the bits I've missed. So it's like welding jewellery, so doing a wee bit at a time so as to not whop it all to death. So this bit's going to be interesting but when we get to this here, because my welder at the minute is on uh, two for the bolts, one per, uh, and your speed there's nearly up at three. So uh, I'll need to play about with it when I get to this. <laughs> and then see how I go, to be honest with you. We'll maybe make a decision when we get to that bit, <laughs> what we're doing with it. <laughs> so there you go, it's cracking on. Right, so pretty much there with the welding on this, I need to uh, take all these welds off, paint it all. Um, but uh, that's solid now. So I wasn't sure if I was, what I was going to do, if I, if I couldn't get this to weld, because it's incredibly thin, but I've just I chopped it, <laughs> chopped that off there, just so that you know, then they buzz about, but that looks pretty solid. I've got the bolt slack on it, right? So just because I, I need to be able to move it, I've, I've put a wee tack on the back there as well, which I'm going to need to buff in because it will interfere. So you can see when one of my welds is actually came through there. Right, so you can see when one of the welds has come through. It. So and I'll just do another spot weld. I will do is take it off, move it, I'll put just a couple of spot welds down the back, buff them down, just, just a wee extra stuff now. So we'll take all these away now and we'll get it all painted back to how it should look. So, we back to go back over here and a wee pinhole there to get. And then painting time. That side's all painted and drying away. This side here, this is the passenger side obviously, we've seen how tight the other side was, that's how it should be, right, it should be able to move. Now, obviously I need to build all that side up, once the paint's all dried and, and the backing plate's all bolted up. Look at this side man, eh? that is a bolt, right? there's another one in there, so it's, I can't get this one to turn so far, so just see how rotten it is man. Right, so all the bolts are out it. It's adhered itself to there, <laughs> but the bolt's out of there, bolt's out of there, and the bolt's out of there, and they come out with a chisel. So, there's one of them there. So, just a wee chisel mark on it, bump. And uh, this here was rotted in there, you can see half it stayed in. So all I could do, the cable's kind of seized into that kind of position there. So that was really tight, and then I had to cut. Right, I had to cut all the way through because obviously I don't want to chop cable, right? So you can see I've no, I've no mark there. So obviously that bit's there to stop water getting into this part. 
at this, well, this side we know was working, so hopefully it's still working. The other side was seized up solid, so hopefully that's all that's been wrong there. That should be dry now. Nearly, is it? Yeah, it's dry pretty much. So that's, pre that's pretty much dry now, so we can get that all bolted, built up. Um, this side, the cable, it came out no bother. So it's either that or somebody's had this out before and, and known there's an issue and just put it back together, and that's why it's a seized solid. Um, because that's how you come out no bother, and you can see it's still got a plastic guide. Right, and you can see that side's not the same as the other side. It's, I don't like to think somebody took the motor out of it, the module out, and just did one cable. <laughs> so, you just don't know about man, people are crazy sometimes. Eh? I yeah, still need to put the shoes and all that on this side, but this side seems good, so we're not filling anywhere. So, and we've started uh, on this other side, so just a wee bit at a time back to the other side. So, I started here, 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 and just going a wee bit at a time. And we need to make sure we're nice and straight, keep it in. And I'll show you, unfortunately, we've had an incident on the other side. Right, not a major incident, but with no end of grief, it's still hot actually. Getting there, uh, you can see we got a wee torch there. So that one's bent, but so the other side's free, the side that was all working fine, but that one there 100% has bent it. So uh, I shall have to see if we can get new ones. Hopefully, we can get just new pins. I'll show you mines. Right, so there's one I made earlier, it's my own one. That there from Audi is £250 plus the VAT. Uh, thankfully, so the bolts broken uh, on here, so there was one of these bolts broken, or two of them broken, then we got it off, then one of the slides broke, so obviously £250, I think that was about 20 or something like that, so hopefully, you know, we can just get the same for the landing. Hey man, that's been no end of grief man, so I've put the disc on, I've been fighting away at it, thankfully I had a spare spring because that one starting to go, so that come with a fitting kit and I bought a fitting kit as well because it didn't come with any pins <laughs> so I then sent that one back, got another one it's just the way it comes unfortunately so I had ordered a fitting kit and shoes and the shoes come with uh, you know, some of it they don't give you the pins, they give you the hooks but they don't give you the pins so you do so the Delphi kit gives you everything no. Even the bit for the, the bar. Doesn't give you the bar, right? We usually spring for the bar. So I'm gonna take this back off. Okay, so I'm just taking the disc off just so that I know that everything's all good. Everything's still on and where it should. I think what had happened was the spring had got caught in that. So there's a plate in the bottom there which you don't get when you fit the kit. So the disc should go on nice and easy and I've had no end of grief getting it on and off. So Just do a little bit of adjustment on it. Uh, later, I think I'll do another side first. Yeah, I'll do another side first. So, another side, paint should be dry now. So, stuff everywhere, man. Eh? <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. It's been giving me grief, so that should be all dry now. Guys, honest to God, man, eh? I never thought I was going to be fighting that so much. Right, so that's on. I'm going to put the bolt in it now. I had to put the hotel on it. Hold on. Right, so I did the chappy, chappy, chappy. Spin, 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 chappy, 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 on and off with the disc, same as we did on the other side. And uh, obviously I've not got the calipers on. Right, so I just, I had no I got the 
driver's side this going uh, just a wee bit of fettling, you know, back and forth, back and forth, and I managed to get it on. Um, but I could not get <laughs> that driver's run on, so I had to get in here, into service mode, right, into there, into chassis, into your parking brake, and drive it to the installation position. Uh, but, so, I don't know, I know how to do that before with them, but, um, so I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> On. Should be alright. Right, so that one's on. Hopefully, this side. Right. right, that's on. Hopefully, it goes off. That's the, always the fear that it does not go off. I've not touched it yet. Fingers crossed, right? Fingers crossed, man. Oh, your beauty. Your beauty. Right, look at the mess. Right, there's tools, cuts, everything, man. It's a riot, but. It's a bit noisier, so let me have a wee look and see. Yeah. You can see, I've been welding. I've done a good job, I think, but obviously, could be distorted a wee bit. I'll need to mess about with that one, I think. But that's, I'm over the moon, man. I'm really, really over the moon. Uh, not just for me, but the customer as well, but honestly guys, eh, you can put these things together, you can do the pads, the dash, you can pull the handbrake on, and then you can get your still saw out and cut the disc off because something went wrong, you know what I mean, the cable's jammed or something, you know what I mean, um, so there you go, so thankfully, thankfully, that's all that uh, jazz taken care of, I will obviously have to get uh, another slide, I'll maybe see if I've got a replacement one kicking about, but... Probably best just putting a slide cut in the other side. That's that side. The other side's free. It's amazing. So at least the handbrake's working on both sides now. So there you go. Fun and games, these Land Rovers, man. I tell you, they're never fun. Just caught. Um, we're waiting on a slide kit coming for the back. Um, we've did the shoes. We've just got the calipers and the. Uh, Calipers, carriers, and new slide kit, and we get it. Obviously, that caliper there was leaking. There was a lot. I ain't no idea what happened there, but it went off anyway. So, I gave all a clean under here. Um, I think oil's just run down for the top because I, I didn't see nothing under here the last time, other than that sensor up there, which I cleaned. And it seems okay now. That is the oil level sensor. Um, so, they can be foam. That's my brake clean, right? So there was oil all kind of doing in this area at the front and we'll, uh, well we've seen up the top actually on the cover, you can see on the beauty cover um, that, that seal we changed the last time possibly still leaking, it's probably the, the actual throttle body's maybe cracked as, as well itself so uh, i getting more and more reports say the throttle body's getting changed on them now so for years everybody's been doing the, the manifolds and the manifolds are prone for going um, now all of a sudden these uh, Y piece, uh, the, sorry, the, where the throttle body goes in, it goes into like a, it's like a, a Y piece if you like the throttle body, so it, it joins the two inlet manifolds together, uh, and it's obviously just maybe cracked or something, I'm not going to remove it at the minute because it's it's still working the car, we just had the history codes for uh, Turbo Underboost and I've seen that oil, so, and I had uh, been under that, I've had that cover off before, I don't think I've had the gearbox cover off it, um, and I'll need the gearbox cover off. Now, actually, to get into the fuel filter, which is spine there somewhere. Where was you? Oh, there it's up there. You can just see it up there. So that's your pump that's feeding your your night heater. Obviously, your tank. The tank gal is a bit rotten. You can see it's still got some of its original powder coating. I've seen them much, much worse than that. And I did stick a magnet to it, and a magnet did stick to it. So I would recommend changing it, but it's not desperate at the minute. Um, it's not desperate at the minute, but. There's other stuff we could be cracking on me, so we'll, we'll get the, the brakes all finished when we get the right bits and we'll get this major service done as well, so and I'm going to balance those front wheels um, I think I'll probably add a couple of 40 treatments into that uh, diesel filter because I didn't feel it there when I started it up, but a couple of times I started the cab up and I had like a, a, a slight vibration and, and it's like just one of the cylinders just wasn't you know, fired up, hasn't lit up the candle on that cylinder whatever one it is and there's no codes other than that turbo under bus so could be a glow plug going um could be an injector could be anything really to be honest with you but it's literally 
there for a second, it's gone eh, so we'll crack on here, we'll get the rest of these um, bits changed, we'll get the, all the filters off it, get the oil drained out of it, best practice, let your vehicle warm up, right, put the thing back down, take the oil filter out, let all the oil drain down for the oil filter, put the thing back up, put the drainer under it and drain the oil, so we are going to do all the diffs, transfer, all the filters, 7 litres of coma oil, a special transfer box oil, uh, a few bits to do on it still, so. Right, so we're on the service now in the big range, we've already drained the oil, put some pin, some plugs, sorry, not some, that'd be a pain that would pick the diff out to do that. Um, I've changed the filter, there's a Bosch one that was in it, and it's okay, you bit twisted up, but I don't see any kind of glittery bits in it, so that's good. That's good. Um, so it comes out with a bang these eh, oil man eh? Like it always hits the subframe and just goes everywhere. So I'll put your drainer right up um, and try and catch some. <laughs> so eh, well try and catch all of it, but you do end up with splash it splashes onto the subframe and it just goes everywhere. Anybody that's ever serviced one of these. Oh man, so there's the oil leak we were talking about. So I believe maybe that filter body there. This may be correct, I will clean it uh, and see, but so we'll just clean it up and see. I think the oil was there before and the seal was all twisted, so maybe somebody's been a bit harsh here putting it on, don't know. Um, so, but I do hear reports now of these going, but anyway, I don't think there's going to be much interest in, in the service other than maybe just showing people where the, the diff plugs and stuff is. I've already had a look on the, the Haynes pool. Um, to see, so let's see if we can get this camera sitting here. My camera. So, I like added, don't know what that means, but there you go, the screen seems to be back to life. So, I've got a new tool, so I've got these, I've not had them for a while, but I've been waiting to, till we get a screw that's right rusted up, so blue point, so snap ons, you know, keep a brand if you like. Um, to, Yankee Alpha 2019 remove size 6 to number 14, whatever that is, X out damage screw remover. So let's see if we can get this one out. I've had a fight with two or three of them. Um, pick away at the screw holes um, and just you know, try and get it. So we will see if this tool, what it will do. So far, nothing. Boy, is it? <laughs> Keep going. Hoping that once it gets in, it will grip it and turn it. Came slack. Oh no! Did it hit the ground? <laughs> Tell me it hit the ground. Yeah. Ah, nah! Why is it always this car? <laughs> right. Uh, okay, that went. So it's done. It could be sitting on top of the chassis. There's another little cover down there. Okay, okie doke. Right. So. Right, that one didn't get it either. That was. Maybe. Where they got it eventually, I don't know. I think the next size up might be too big. And so the plan is to get that one out. 
just as crap, get them out and then try and put new screws in. Uh, if I've got any, or I'll just put some straight bits on them so we can get them with a uh, screwdriver now. I wouldn't get a new battery. This is we're just going to end up drilling the head off it. Did I see that snap on guy in the new year? He told me these are quality. I'm nearly right for it. So, let's keep on. And we'll remove what's left. Oh! I thought it was going there. Let's take the head off. I mean, that's what it does. Take the head off the screw. So, anyway, once we get the lid off, we get a screw and a washer on it. Hey, sometimes you have to fight these Land Rovers. It has been given as a fight, I tell you. It has been. Oh, come on. Oh, man. One of them. I'll see how good the airy filter is. Let's see. Yeah. Definitely an unchanged. Oh, a bit dirty. It's a man one again, so same as what we're using. It's a bit dirty, but so in the box. Not full of leaves. So we'll get Mr. Blow gun. And then get him a blow. Right. Use a filter as a filter. Oh, starting to go poor. Can you see my tail down there? Hey, buddy. So I use your filter there as a filter, right? You don't want to blow any big crap down into your turbo. Uh, that would be not good. So there's one little bit. Did I get it? No, back to the gun. Right, we'll come back when we've got a new screw. Right, we got a uh, filter screw, we got the screw Start with here I think Right, so, taking the screws out of the box And I've got a, a top screw there which I've had to chop down a little bit I'll hopefully be able to find my tool again um, So I can put the box back in Some of the screws are okay and some of them were crap So, anyway, we'll put the box back on And should be all good with the new screws so that's a bit of faff, so we'll come back. Oh, that's my torch. Right, so, a couple more dramas. Had to buff through both bolts. Ah, oh, torch is gone. <laughs> torch is dead. So you can see the bolt's still in there. Screw for it anyway. That's still in there. We've got a new washer pump. That's just, eh, fluid for stuff. It goes everywhere. So even though you put a pipe in it, you know what I mean? Try and extract as much as you can without getting it everywhere but there's, it comes a point where there's going to be some trapped in there and once you take a pump out there's a the whole pump there you go 
as my old pump went. So anyway, on the pump there's like a big rubber bung, so once that comes out, um, that shoe had it basically, so uh, you basically end up there, so you end up with everything everywhere, so once the big bung comes out then that shoe goes everywhere and I'm like a rocket, so what I do is I put a pipe on and I try and catch as much as I can. Saves all the mess, that's why cardboard's out to be honest with you, soak up all the, the stuff because in Scotland once this floor's wet in the winter it's really really hard to get it dry again, I mean I'd love to be able to afford some like uh, some huge heating system for up on the roof or something like that, you see in all the colleges these big gas tubes and uh, the heat just radiates down for the mess so when you're boiling and have like a big huge warehouse type thing you know but heating these kind of small, uh, six small, that's a large workshop that's about two and a half thousand square feet, so I've got heating, heating it, nightmare, so in the winter it's got them now. So I meant to actually mention on the brakes as well, um, you can see that I've got an oddball, right? So, but I've had two separate, so you can see that one there, I had to heat it and it's bent, right? So that rubber bit was missing off it, so somebody flung that away, it's that bit, I'll just take it off to clean, right? It goes on there, right? That goes on there, and all the boots are here, so I elected just to, to send both back because they were just completely different, eh? which now makes me think, I've not even taken the ones I got for mines, uh, which makes me think, <laughs> and they sent me two different uh, parts, two different part numbers, the same kind of thing, but uh, none, of them, none of them fitted, so, well they, fit, they would have fitted, but they would have been in and they would have been awfully slack, so what would have mostly happened is just probably hit the brake, clunk, reverse, clunk, 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 you know, so I don't want that. Right, so I need to fit our calipers and our uh, brake sensing wire, adjust the brakes, and move on. But that's how your pads should move. That one, yep, okay. That's how your slides should move, okay. Makes it free, right there, slide. Okay. Back man, back, back, back. Same that, same with that, same with that, okay. That's a really good one up there. Back, so that's for one of your fuel pipes. She's got a bit of rubble there, it's got a hook, hooks in and all that, mate. It goes down, pops the bait, pulls in there, and it'll slide on the gearbox cover and pull it off. It's obviously, eventually wrapped with the main bailing there. So, the guy, I don't know what else he's going to put back on this for the truck. It's one of the main cover. Hey, so, no leaks from our new sump plug in here, so that's how we do it. So, I've cleaned all that. So, this is the fuel filter. Yeah. Oh, never turned, it just exploded. These took them out. You can look at all the rust on it, eh? So it's not been done in a while. So we shall have to get our nice men. Oh, equality. One filter to go after this. And just diff oils. Transfer box. Uh, and balance front wheels, obviously, as well. Obviously. Obviously. Didn't forget that. We have primed up the 40. We've cleaned up the filter, sorry, with 40. There's a new, uh, old seals there. So we've got new seals and a fuel filter. Uh, drain and water level, well, water and fuel sensor. So, try and set that like that. So it is full. It is full. It will not take any more. So, we'll put the remainder into the tank. So, big tank on these. So, we're used to. So, basically, it's got a full 40 in there. So, about 250ml then that holds. This one, half a litre. And now we do. 
Um, that one holds 250 mil, roughly. But it spilled a wee bit. But so we'll get that fitted back in. The cover was a wee bit of paint. We'll get that back on with some new fasteners, I think. Right, so you see when I've done the filter, there's no crap everywhere. <laughs> right, so we'll get that new man filter in there. It's primed up with 40, right? And we've got a 40 into the tank. It just took a wee bit for that bottle there. So there's two 40 treatments in it. So anything that's in the filter will return back to the tank. There's a big, massive tank on this. So two is absolutely fine, okay? So we've done a rear diff oil. Nice clean oil now. Right, so nice clean oil in there. Just be careful with this. I had to really, really be careful because I thought I was going to go into plums with it. Um, I really did. I thought I was going to go into plums. So I cleaned all of this up as well and put this back in. And uh, put this back in. So that was just starting to slap air to get in and out, in and out, in and out. And uh, I managed to get it. So we're going to the transfer box now. So I've got our. Special transfer box oil, and I got one extra transfer fluid just in case. It's same stuff, same part number. Um, you obviously, Raven Oil's just no longer started making this because you could only get it at Phil Androver. Special transfer box oil, so let's got another one uh, just in case. We don't have enough, 1.5 it holds. So we'll crack on here, get that done. So we'll just get that to do in the, the front wheel balancing, and we're waiting on some covers. Not covers, we're waiting on some speed fasteners. So I'll show you on the fuel bottle actually. So these are your speed fasteners. So we're waiting on some new a new box of them coming. Uh, and we'll get all these covers put back on properly because I kind of used my last two up here. So uh, I kind of used my last two on those there. So I think somebody's been into it because there's a few clips missing at it and stuff like that. So I think somebody's been in with it before. So that's probably had the other pumps done, it's just this one's went there. So we'll crack on with this uh, transfer box oil now. Yeah, I mean, the two diffs were not too bad, man, but that is definitely stinky. That is definitely stinky. So I managed to find some new crush washers as well. So that's the one that was on it, it was that wee copper one, right? It's the same diameter, it's just a bit bigger. That's a bit special, 200. So it'll fit in there. So. Basically, there was a guy in a dealer and <laughs> didn't fit any washers for other reasons, man. Eh? They all went on back order, man, and yeah, <laughs> ended up taking millions at his toolbox. So it was like the partsman, I says to the guy, technician says, You've not given them any crush washers for the diffs and the sumps, and she says, I had a back order, mate. He says, Go and see this guy, but I've seen hers in his toolbox. <laughs> so I did, and there you go, they were, they were there. So I'll let that drop away. So. I can put this back on, I'm just waiting uh, speed fasteners for the front cover and what else was it? Front cover, something else, oh the gearbox cover, so I've still not found my tool, <laughs> so it's gone, it's just going to need to be in there, still not came out, I've tried blowing it, I don't know, I can't see it anywhere, so it's up in there somewhere, so I'll let that drop away a wee bit more and we'll get the, the new special transfer box oil on it. Fun and games, man. Fun and games. So, up to 24 inch I can balance. So, I'm gonna give it a bash. The balances, they're balanced. Weights, well, saying that, right? I wonder if they've balanced it right and they've just put this load on and they've no bother taking that off. You can see there's been one on there. So, I think we'll put it on and just see what's going on. We'll get it really clean. This 
one actually when it's going around seems like there's maybe a tiny wee buckle but it seems to have balanced out so hopefully that's just got to be a 70 mana and just got a little vibration for this team. Off-road height selected. Normal height. Ah! I just keep doing this to me. No! She doesn't like being on the left every time she's in. Right, it's not going down in a minute. Stuck in a minute. Right, so we're back on this lift now. See, we've removed the vehicle from that lift. Been a couple of road tests. Had a couple of noises. So, you can see we've been scraping there and a wee bit up there, I think. So, it's been doing scraping there. So, obviously, this is right where I've welded. Right, you can just make it right where I've welded. Right, obviously, I've taken all the weld back then um, and repainted it all. Uh, there's there. There's the next load of welds in there. Right, you just put make them out. So I'm going to need to dress this down, put some more paint on it. Um, just sort of been rushed to death. And this side as well. I've removed the shoe. Eh, sorry, the pads just to confirm. There's something catching in here. So obviously we'll just do the same again. Strap it in. See what we can see modify some more to get rid of the noises because everything seems to be working perfectly so yeah everything seems to be working good so we just need to get rid of the noises right so I've strapped it on this side then I've strapped it on for no reason eh? but at least I, I can get this apart so you can see we're welded right in here right so that's that's weld in there right so I've just buffed it all down painted it so you, oh, it's not, not as noticeable right so we can still see all the paint is on this backing plate, there's maybe just a wee bit there actually, just exactly where I've been welding. So I'll maybe just put a modification on there and touch it up. So, but the spring, I think it's quite close to it. Quite close to, us to the spring, for whatever reason on this side. Because it was a, I thought there was a squeak for that side and a kind of scrape for this side. But it's been catching this bar here, I'm not sure how. Why? Well, it's not catching the bar, it's catching the spring. To be honest with you, which is a new spring. Um, it's just there to help, you know, push them apart, I think, to be honest with you. But I mean, there's not much tension on it. I maybe just need to take it off. See, we can fix this bit, no bother, but I can't, I can't do anything with that. That's all fixed, so. Right, let me just modify. Let me make a new modification, I think. Let's see how we go. Right. Right, so now it's perfect. No noises for the back. And the suspension, thankfully, has righted itself. So, yeah, we're all good. So, I've not got any more noises. Um, part brake's still working fine. The part brake was all good anyway, but I just had these wee noises. So, try our very best to do things the best we can. Um, so, you know, if it takes a wee bit longer to get it right, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. So, yeah, we've spent a wee bit of extra time on it, but. I'd rather do that and there's no noises off it, you know what I mean? So, it's sorted now. So, she's all good. So, she's had the big service, man. She's had all the filters, all the filters, fuel, air, pollen, oil, uh, comma oil, new sump plug, diff oil, diff oil, transfer box. No touching the gearbox at the minute. Uh, yeah, I need to put these onto a machine and it flushes it and changes the oil as it's doing it. Um, or you need to lower the sump down, cut the filter off it, and then get the bit part kit. Uh, but doing it that way, you kind of get, I don't know what's best to be honest with you. I don't know if you're best flushing them or if you're best doing it with the bit part way. Doing it the bit part way, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need 
chop the filter, take the sump off, put the new filter in, put your new bit part, uh, sump kit in, which is a metal pan, holds the filter up into the box. Um, otherwise, you need the body off it to get the bloody thing out. Um, but you chop the filter, sorted, and maybe hacksaw blade, tick, 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 chop it. Um, so, I don't know what's better, I don't know if it's better doing the filter and then doing a second gearbox change on it, if you like, like oil change, so the gearbox oil change, and then hopefully that way you get it all out, you know what I mean? So, I'll show you the filter by you. So that's it's uh, not too low for flash. Get a light. So you can see how rusty it is. That's it's old screen wash pump. It's still working. And look how rusty that genuine Land Rover fuel filter is. So God knows how long that's been on there. So the last bit on it, carbon filter. It's not too bad. I thought it was going to be worse to be honest with you. Maybe a sign that there's some water ingress coming in the car because it's all steamed up sometimes. So there's a few leapies in it. A few wee bits. TV bits and PCs, but nothing major, so we'll get a new one in there. Up in there it goes. So, thanks for watching everybody. If you haven't already, hit that big form, hit that subscribe for this quality Land Rover. See, it's been well serviced, it's only got one, two, three more stamped spaces in the book, and then it needs a new book, so it's been well looked after this one. Thanks for watching again guys, if you haven't already, hit the big form, hit subscribe man. Have yourselves a great old Christmas, okay?